It's fine. It's not going to go much further. I think. Hi, I'm Mike. This is Jess. And welcome to Goodwin's Farm 207. Today we're going to be doing an introductory video about our livestock guardian dogs. Our hope is to make this into a series and we're going to talk to you today about what you can expect to see in this video and upcoming videos. Yeah, stick around. Hi guys. How you doing? How you doing, bud? How you doing? Getting right up in there for the camera. All right, go run. All right, so we're back. As you can tell, we're out in the pasture. We've let the dogs out, some of the animals out. And really for this video, we just kind of want to introduce you a little bit to our livestock guardian dog, Remy, and talk about her a little bit. I know she's been uh, pretty popular in the channel. She is an Anatolian Shepherd. So as some of you know, she kind of had a little bit of a difficult past before she came to live with us on our farm. Um, and one of the things that we hope to kind of talk to you guys about is some of the ways that we have worked with her to overcome that. We were pretty fortunate she was still a puppy when we got her, and so we were able to work through all of that. Yeah, and we've been talking about for a while about on this channel about wanting to do a series on livestock guardian dogs, so we hope that you consider this an introduction to a multi-part series on the various aspects of livestock guardian dogs. Yeah, he's kind of been hounding me a little bit about doing it. I've been a little hesitant because um, although I've had a lot of years of experience with training dogs, working with dogs, livestock guardian dogs are relatively newer for me in the last several years. I've been focused more on livestock guardian dogs than other breeds of dogs. And it is a completely different ball game when you're training livestock guardian dogs versus training like a German Shepherd. Pretty much in my whole adult life, I've worked with dogs. I've rehabilitated dogs and found them homes. Um, I have had a very good success rate, like 99.9%. Um, there was that 0.1 that unfortunately um, couldn't be rehabilitated after what had been what had happened to them, you know, I do have a pretty solid success rate being able to retrain dogs with problems. So when I jumped into livestock guardian dogs, I thought, oh yeah, I've got this. And it was still, it was, it was challenging. It was very challenging because they are totally independent thinkers. They don't respond to you, some of the normal training techniques you would use for like a, a lab or things like that. I love them and they are fantastic working dogs and I, they hold a special place in my heart um, and what's happening with livestock guardian dogs right now honestly is an atrocity in the United States. They have a lot of watered down genetics, there's a lot of overbreeding, there's overcrowding when it comes to shelters and you know when you're starting out on a farm you think okay maybe maybe I need a livestock guardian animal and I'm gonna get a dog from a shelter. And I'm all for rescuing dogs, don't get me wrong, but rescuing a livestock guardian dog is a totally different ball game. And if you're not prepared and ready for that, you're really setting yourself and the dog up for failure. Um, or at least, you know, some significant risks and dangers. Yeah, so some of those are some of the things that we also want to talk about. You know, one of the first videos we'll talk about training, we'll talk about different resources, different breeds, what to look for when you're looking to get a livestock guardian dog, how to find a responsible breeder, things that you need to ask. We'll get into the training aspect of it. We'll also get into what happens when things don't go as planned, <laughs> what happens when you did get in over your head, what are the next steps there? Um, what are some things you can do to help avoid that, as well as work through some of the different challenges um, sometimes that can happen with these dogs. A lot of different things to think about and consider, and these will just be our opinions based on our research and personal experience. Uh, Jess is by far more knowledgeable in this, um, but it's a big decision to take you know this type of dog into your homestead or farm and you want to make sure that you have the right one um, that fits you know all the categories of what you're looking for for protection for your farm yeah and you know something the first thing that i'm going to say in this introductory video just kind of introducing you to livestock guardian dogs in general is 
before you even consider a breeder, before you even think about training, before you even think about what type of breed of livestock guardian dog you want to get, the first step is research. Research, research, research. Join the livestock guardian dog groups. There's a farmers only group that's good. There's different livestock guardian training groups. Um, you're going to find a vast wide variety of opinions and thoughts and that's not necessarily bad because you're probably going to find most people fall somewhere in the middle of both extremes. There's also the, there's a Texas Agricultural Livestock Guardian Dog uh, YouTube channel. I do love their videos. They actually do um, Livestock Guardian Dog bonding research and they answer a lot of questions. I don't agree 100% with with everything they use for techniques, but I do agree with a lot of it. It's a great resource to learn about the different breeds. There's all kinds of books out there. I would stick with the older books versus some of the newer books. I find the older books are more true to livestock guardian dog genetics and what these dogs were originally bred for. Don't rule out research from groups from other countries because a lot of these dogs actually originated in like Turkey or um, other countries so they are much more familiar with the genetics and what these dogs were originally bred for and used for so that is my advice for this video is research 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 read up do your homework first before you even start looking at breeders and things like that just so you kind of know what to look for when you do start um, considering a breeder and a breed Remy come Come on. Oh, she's coming. It's just a big pasture. So, and this is the star. This is Remy. This is our Anatolian Shepherd. She's a purebred Anatolian Shepherd. Um, she does come from really good genetics. And unfortunately, some, some things happened to her when she was a puppy that kind of made her a little scared and skittish. Um, and <laughs> really... She's a dog we're going to talk about a lot of the perfect success of what happens when you rehabilitate a dog with, with, with some issues because she's gone on to become a fantastic guardian, probably the best guardian we have on our farm at the moment. Although Wilson, our great Pyrenees, is uh, definitely giving her a run for her money. He's, he's learning really quick um, as well and doing a great job. But yeah... And if, you know, if, if you've started to do your research on Livestock Guardian Dogs, um, recall is a big thing. And the fact that she does it consistently 100% of the time is a huge accomplishment for her. This was our introduction video to Livestock Guardian Dogs, um, a hopeful series on the different things that we feel are important. Um, those videos will be forthcoming. Um, if there's anything specific that you'd like us to talk about or give our opinions on, uh, please put that in the comments and we'll do our best to uh, get that on the video. Uh, because there's definitely a, a lot of different aspects to think about, a lot of things to know. So we'll be glad to share whatever knowledge we have. Yeah, we'll definitely share our experiences and our opinions. Like I said, you know, I have a lot of experience with dogs. I've um, do done dog breeding, dog training. I've done a lot of classes and courses on dog training. I've spent an exorbitant amount of research and time um, learning about dogs and the different types of dogs and working with dogs. I've, I do have a lot of experience with that and I'm willing to share. But again, when you're, when you're looking at your livestock guardian dogs, it's a completely different ball game. They're just a completely different breed altogether. Yeah, so we hope that you will follow along in this series and I think we'll have a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share our videos. And we'll see you on the next one.